Today is a Friday and my mom and I actually just got back from a little garage sale. I have not been to a garage sale in years because A, I'm never home and B, when I am home, it's always the winter so it's not warm enough outside to have a yard sale. So that was a lot of fun. I actually got a couple things. I love a garage sale because you just don't know what you're going to find. Garage sales are just so fun to me because it's kind of like thrifting but not really, like in a way. There's never anything you specifically need unless there's something you've been looking for and they just so happen to have it. That is some good luck right there, but it's always just fun to look around. So I've come home with a couple things I bought from three different houses. First house, I found puzzles. I like a puzzle. I don't know about you, maybe that's boring, but I love puzzles. So I got two puzzles because they were a bargain. The first one I got is a Venice. And it was $2, so it's a $1,000, not 1,000 piece puzzle. And then the other one is somewhere on the Amalfi Coast, I think maybe Poisitano. But this one is a double-sided puzzle. So this is what the one side looks like. And then the back side has a completely different design. You're pretty much getting two puzzles in one. This is 500 pieces and this was $3. Then I got some really beautiful China wear or like glassware. The story of this one is that the owner's daughter was having a bridal shower or maybe a baby shower. I can't remember. One of the two. And she wanted it to be like tea themed, but then last minute changed her mind. So basically she had all these spare teacups that she didn't know what to do with. So she's reselling them. And I just thought they were the cutest thing. So this is the first one. It's brand new. So cute. And then the other one I got is this little floral one. Those are my little teacups I got. They were $2 each and brand new. And then another little fun fact about me is that I love scrapbooking. You probably wouldn't know that because I never scrapbook in any of my videos because I simply just haven't had the time to, but I do love to do it when I do have the time and I have quite a big collection in the basement. So the one house was selling all their scrapbook stuff um, and it was like four for a dollar. So I got four different sticker packs. So this one is like pumpkins. This one's like a graduation one, which I still need to do my scrapbook for my college graduation, which was four years ago. Little gingerbread men. And then this one is like an assorted pack for Easter. So in total, I spent $10 this morning. What a bargain. And this was my little outfit for garage sale shopping. To be honest, I really don't have much on the agenda for the weekend, but we're gonna just go along with it, see what we can get into. I do need to make a target run at some point, and I think we're doing something with my family tomorrow because my uncle's coming in from out of town. Oh, it's cute. I, would, I mean, normally it's against the house. Yeah. Do you like that sort of? Yeah, I like it. It closes the space, and I can buy one of those viney plants that go up. Yeah, it'll kind of make like, like a yeah. natural sort of wall. Yeah, that's what those are for. Those lattices are for. This is mom's new purchase. Five dollars well spent. Or no, you got it for four dollars, right? Ooh. It is time to make a coffee. And my mom just got some iced coffee for me, which was very nice. I don't know if they rebranded it because it's been so long since I've been home, but it's just the Starbucks medium roast iced coffee. And I do have my oat milk creamer that I got from Trader Joe's. I haven't opened it yet. So definitely going to be using some of this. If you have not tried this, you need to. Absolutely. Yum! Cheers. So good. I'm in love with that coffee. Can you say hi, Coco? Coco actually came with us to the little block sale this morning, and she did such a good job with all the people because she's really not around people that often. Like, if we have people over, obviously, but the only other time is when we go out for a walk. Obviously, she was a fan favorite. I mean, look at this face. Look at her. <laughs>
just quickly whipped up a little burrito, if you will, for lunch. I had leftover beans and corn in the fridge, so I just reheated those, sauteed some peppers, threw a little bit of cheese on, and here we have it. Did not take me much time at all, and honestly, like, I have no plans, so I'm not in a rush to make a quick lunch but this looks so yummy i really want to work out today but i feel like this is going to be somewhat heavy to eat and then exercise straight away so i don't really know my plan yet there maybe i will digest a bit and then we'll do a workout i need to like make a plan for the rest of the day because i don't want to waste any time but at the same time like i could have a more chilled laid back day because i've caught up i don't almost all the work that I needed to. So I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I've just changed into my little outfit or maybe I'll rollerblade. I haven't decided yet. And it seems none of my friends are available tonight to hang out. So it might just be a night by myself because my parents have plans with their friends. And that's totally fine. Maybe we'll bake something later. All right, Bean, you ready? The gals are ready for their hot girl walk. felt really good I kind of debated doing like a weights workout or something and I think I might do some ankle weights to finish it off so weird though I had my headphones in obviously and I was listening to a podcast for a little bit and then I decided to listen to music for the rest of the walk and I swear to god without fail every time I come home from a contract everywhere I go or my shuffle always plays songs from the show that I just did so like last contract I was hearing Black Eyed Peas, let's get it started, like, nonstop. Now that I'm home here, just the other day, I heard the pre-show music walking into TJ Maxx. Now this is the second time that my phone is shuffled, Here Comes the Sun. And it also shuffled Dance Monkey this morning, too. So, just makes me feel nostalgic because it's only been, like, five days since I signed off, but I'm already missing the show. served I don't really have much in the house so I decided to make just breakfast for dinner a classic and I wanted to make like open-faced breakfast sandwiches but I didn't have any of my impossible sausage patties so I just went with eggs and cheese there's never a time where I don't want breakfast for dinner you know it is absolutely pouring out today has not been a good day for weather like I thought the Sun maybe was gonna peek out later but it did not I'm just glad that I didn't get caught in the rain on our walk. I did make these little like healthy dessert kind of little bites a couple days ago and I forgot that I had them in the freezer. So I wanted to have one. So I just sliced up a banana and then I melted some peanut butter, dipped it in peanut butter, froze it. And then I melted down some chocolate morsels and also dipped the banana in those. It's not an original idea. I saw it on TikTok. They're not the most appealing, but they're gonna taste good. I mean, what's there not to like? Peanut butter, chocolate, and banana. Hmm.
Saturday morning. I'm having such a productive start to my day and it just makes me feel so good. I've already did my workout. I went on the spin bike and then I did one of my weights workouts I built a long time ago and I haven't done it in so long that it was so difficult for me to do. I got a really good sweat in and I just feel very accomplished. And I kind of forgot how much I loved that workout. So I'm going to start incorporating that into like a a rotation. I don't know why that word took me so long to figure out. <laughs> and then I took a shower. I washed my hair. Finally, it was so needed. Actually, last night I found like a huge scab on my forehead. And I'm just trying to remember if I like ran into something and forgot. I, it happens sometimes. Yeah, there's just a couple things I want to get done today. I might go to another garage sale with my mom later, depending on when she gets back from work. And then this evening I'm going to my auntie and uncle's house because one of my uncles is flying in from Atlanta. So we're going to have a little nice family night at their house. So that's the plan. I'm freaking out though because one of my best friends since like I was 11 years old is getting engaged tomorrow and I have been texting with her boyfriend, soon to be fiance, back and forth the last couple days trying to sort out the details because I'm going to photograph the engagement. They're going to get engaged at the Botanical Gardens. So we've both been going on the website and doing like the virtual walkthrough to try and figure out where I'm going to stand, where he's going to stand with her and how we're going to avoid seeing each other. So that's pretty funny, but I'm, I'm very excited for that. So that'll be tomorrow morning. Hi vlog. It's been so long. I appreciate all the positive comments i'm thinking about making my own page but my daughter won't help me so see ya i didn't you never even asked for help so i'm just gonna quickly blow out my hair with my bondi boost blowout brush i love this thing so much i didn't know like what to expect really because i've never used a blown out brush and i always see people's hair turn out so nice but i'm not the best at drying my hair and it usually gets frizzy but this thing is incredible Usually it takes me so long to dry my hair, but with this, it takes about 10, 15 minutes tops. And then it's also styled as well. So we're just gonna like brush through the hair and I'm gonna just twist it. I can do like a dedicated tutorial how I use it, but we're gonna quickly dry my hair and then head to Aldi. trip I want to give you a haul of everything I got the lighting is looking absolutely gorgeous at the moment so first let's start with Aldi because that's the first place I went I did forget to get one thing that I needed at Target but it's it's fine first up I got some dried mangoes I love these as a little snack restock of some salsa some raspberries some strawberries I really wanted to get like the larger tub of vanilla Greek yogurt but they didn't have any in stock anyways i got these little single greek yogurt so i got two strawberry a blueberry and a tropical fruit flavor so these are going to be good i got two boxes of couscous i got some ready to serve brown rice i feel like this is good for bowls as well and easy i can just pop it in the microwave i got some frozen broccoli and lastly i just got some more bell peppers because we are getting low and i love these for like my mexican bowl or my greek salad so then for Target, I got way less at Target, but spent double the price. I am a sucker for that dollar section at the beginning of the store. It gets me every time, but I was pretty good. I only got two things, so I got these cute little socks. And then I am constantly writing in my notebooks, so this one was really, really cute in my opinion. It was 
yeah, three dollars. So when I was a child, I had really curly hair and then it got pin straight and then it was really wavy, but then I completely damaged my like curl pattern with bleaching my hair. Like it was white at one point, but now I want to start trying the curly girl method and seeing how my hair reacts because I know I don't have curly hair, but I definitely have like a wave pattern. So I'm going to follow a routine I found on TikTok. So I got the Eco like styling gel and the Herbal Essences Curl Boosting Mousse. My concealers still do not match me and I like to wear concealer instead of foundation for the summertime. So I got darker shades of these. There was a clearance rack and I picked up this metallic eyeliner. It's like a fuchsia color. So I'm gonna have fun with this. It was two bucks. And lastly, I'm completely out of setting spray. So I got my favorite Revolution Sport Fix. I'm getting a bit hungry. It's like 2.30 right now. I did have a little bit of yogurt, but I am gonna have some carrots and I've got some hummus. And then also I have one of my level one protein bars. I just got a new flavor, like, I don't know, maybe five days ago. How long have I been home? It's the chocolate chip cookie dough. I have no words, just go buy it. It's so, so good. I'm all changed and freshened up for the evening. I'm just wearing my new top I got the other day from TJ Maxx, but it's originally from Zara. And then I've just thrown on a pair of jeans with it and some sandals, but we are just about to head out the door to my aunt and uncle's house. I'm so excited to see everyone. This is my dad's side of the family. Bye, Bean. See you in a bit. Are they home? It doesn't sound like they're home. The lights are off. The music's off. Hello. Good timing. Super good timing. Yeah, they were worried, worried that like, everyone left them. No one's here. We're knocking on the door. Ah, door. sight! The door. He was backing we gave, up. We gave him a heads up, but so we did it. Did it? You wanted to say? So I must be repeat. But you but were I'm born older. first. Maybe our parents fooled us. What are we doing? What is this? This is my brother Pete. This is my brother Joe. Hey, there's Paula. No. Our sister. Ah! <laughs> She's she wants to play hide and seek. <laughs> Y'all know I'm funny. He's funnier. Way funnier. I've been told these things. How many years apart? Are we going to give him the answer or are you going to wait for the comments? Just live? This no. is the streaming live? This, it's, am, it's I, not live. am I in Hungary right now? What's <laughs> going on right now? No, not a thing. Learn for yourself. I've, I've put in too much energy for you to share that type of thing. <laughs> Joey Bag of Donuts! This is Joey Bag of Donuts! Joey Bag of Donuts! <laughs> of donuts. <laughs> go into what his little bio is. Oh, it's a, it's a porn, here we go. It's a porn oh. song! Oh. Sunday morning I've just arrived to the Botanical Gardens for my friend's engagement which she has obviously no idea about. I'm so excited for her. I'm so nervous. I've tested out my camera like a billion times this morning because I wanted to make sure everything was set up and ready to go. Charge the battery, put a brand new memory card in so we've got like 9,000 photos so I am ready to get all the photos. They should be here in another 15 minutes or so so I'm gonna head in and hide. <laughs> so I'm in place, but I am so excited like this is one of my lifelong friends like we have been friends since We were 11 years old. So just a really special day and I'm so happy that I get to be part of it made it back 
back home. Engagement was amazing. I'm just so happy for them and it was really special to be able to be there to see it. Now I'm eating some Greek yogurt with granola and I've changed my suit because I wanna go outside and read my book a bit. It is kind of somewhat overcast, but the sun's coming in and out, so I wanna take a little bit of time this Sunday to just chill and then I do have a lot of work I need to get done later, but it's only like 12.30 right now, so maybe I'll go out for like two, three hours and then get to work. I'm wearing my little suit from Burlook, so I've got the matching bottoms, they're like high cut, and then my little biker shorts, or like, they're not biker shorts, they're just fitted shorts from Princess Polly. Mm -hmm.